Okay, this one's on cycling cycles per hour using an electric furnace. Now, an electric furnace is just some electric elements. It, uh, it can be either started with a contactor or it can be started with sequencers, which are time delay relays. So when the thermostat comes on, if you use time delay relays or sequencers, uh, one element comes on in you know 10 or 15 seconds, and then 10 or 15 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, another one comes on until you get all of them on. Okay, so it's kind of building up. Most of the manufacturers that I've looked at their information, they seem to think those should be, some of them go as high as 10 cycles per hour. I'm not cycling electric furnace 10 cycles an hour. I'm not really even very thrilled about six. Now I would put it at six and have an old house that had a lot of heat loss and that sort of thing. Yeah, I would probably do that. I would probably set it not not at 10. I, I replace far too many sequencers to want to cycle electric furnace that often because those sequencers, they're just relays. And every time a relay makes and breaks, it wears. And most of the sequencers I see used in furnaces were a piece of crap when they were new. It didn't work for sour apples anyway. So uh, I don't think I want to cycle it that often. Besides, I don't want to listen to furnace coming on and off all the time that way. That's To me, that's ridiculous. Maybe six. I think you could do three to five on a newer home. Because remember, the newer homes are not going to lose near as much heat as the older home. So I would, I would say three to five. And so, and when I say these things, you know, if the customer comes up and says, geez, it's getting cold and hot, well, you're going to have to change it. Because it's got to work the way the customer wants. But that's the way I'd start it out. So that's on electric furnace.